Hey class, Absolute 5 here. Don't mind my hair. It's been, it's been anime today. So today uh, I, had a, I had a friend message me yesterday. They asked me a question that I feel is necessary and that I think it might help a lot of you guys out as well, where analysis is paralysis. Meaning, what do I mean by that? I talk about analysis paralysis because a lot of people I feel are too dormant in the mind. They always overanalyze the situation or they overthink the situation. They won't actually feel like, they don't feel that they won't be able to do something unless they actually sit down and think and map out every single possible scenario and how how wrong it can be or how bad it's going to be rather than think the opposite how good it could be so so specifically how what i'm talking about is you know how you feel sometimes you feel like oh man today's so hot today i want to go to the beach or something but then you're gonna think oh it's too late i gotta prepare all these things i got to Gotta get through the traffic, gotta get through the line, all these other things. And the thing is, in the end, you're just like, ah, I, you spend half an hour just, or an hour, just listing out every possible excuse why you sh could not or should not even go to the beach. Instead of doing that, you could have just took maybe half an hour and actually been at the beach, or maybe less, depending on where you live. So that's where I feel a lot of people, they live too dormant in the mind so I'll give you five ways to help you get out of analysis and paralysis so the first one is stop overthinking stop overthinking of situation whether or not it's gonna work out or not just trust yourself it will work out as long as you believe it's going to work out okay two number two Stop being very negative of every, every single situation. Specifically, when I'm talking about being negative, there are times your mind will make you be negative, which I understand because I was that way as well once. But every situation where you go outside and you're thinking, oh, no, 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 how about this? You're such an introvert to the point that you feel that you go outside and you feel like the second you cross that street, you're gonna get hit by a car, or someone's gonna come out, come out of nowhere and just stab you with a knife, or shoot you at your doorstep. Any kind of weird possibility that you're thinking negative, you need to stop thinking that way. Otherwise, you're not even going to enjoy the life you're living in right now. Being negative is probably one of the hardest things to do, and, and the best thing I can tell you is to Accept the thought that comes into your mind, but don't follow through with that action. Let me explain. So let's say you tell yourself, okay, I'm going to study today. But then you're thinking all the possible ways why it can go wrong if you study. Like you're going to think, ah, ah, what if I don't get it? Or I don't know if I should email the best person for help. Um, that's just so much work to do all those things. Ah, let me just forget about it. That moment when you feel like you just want to forget about it, catch yourself. If you realize you catch yourself in that moment where you want to just give up, turn, turn the script around. Just say, you know what? No, I'm going to do the opposite. Let me actually study and see what happens. You might get stuck, sure, but that's normal. Because this is the thing I want you guys to understand. It's normal to get stuck. That's how you're learning. If you don't ask any questions, you're not learning at all. That's just to be honest the truth. So let me give you the third step on to why analysis is paralysis. And that another thing that you can, another thing that comes up is to wait to the last minute. Do not wait to the last minute to do something because that's when all the anxiety is going to hit you the most. Because you're thinking, oh my God. These things, oh man, I, I don't know what's bothering me. These bills, oh man, what if, what if somebody is in trouble or you're thinking these, or like for example, you're, if you're in a significant other, why hasn't this person texted me? Why hasn't this person called me? Oh my God. And you're sitting there being a worry wart to the point that you lose all your hair. 
So do not do not wait to the last minute to do something. If you feel like you have a responsibility or you want to see somebody, just message them. Don't wait to the last minute. They're there waiting for you. They're waiting for them for you, for you to pick up their call or if they're not, and they don't pick up your call, they're just busy, okay? What's the fourth thing that you can do to help overcome over over analyzing the situation? Because anal analysis paralysis it's the very basic thing and it's very hard to say this because sometimes I'm guilty of this sometimes and that's just do it. <laughs> I'm serious, just do it. Meaning if you know you have to, let's say, do your chores, just do it. Don't sit there, write an essay, write a letter and complain to the whole day, to, uh, to the whole world that, hey, look, this B or this person is not making me happy or that I have to do the chores this time or I have to do this and that or I have to do all these things. In reality, you're just wasting time. You're wasting your own time. If you just, you know, just not, I'm not trying to be sexist by saying, oh, man up or woman up. No, I'm not trying to say that. I'm saying if you know it has to be done, then just, you know, quietly do it, have the will to do it. And then later you'll be like, okay, you know, okay, don't, don't have a big fret about it. Or you have to take out the garbage or if you have to do errands because all those little things add up. But the idea is you can never get to, get to do what you want unless you do these little things. And also this also to relates to being goal, goal minded, having a goal, meaning you should have the primary huge goal but then under it, like a lot of little tiny goals that lead up to the big goal. So if your idea is to become a singer, you should, the first, the big step is to become a singer or a musician or whatever. And then you look up and research every other little thing you need to do to make it there. You understand? So if you know you're a singer, you need to practice your muscle memory, your vocals every single day. You need to eat right, you need to exercise, and I'm not sure because I'm not a singer yet, but you have to do a whole bunch of things to, before you can even start becoming a musician or not even a musician, be anything you want to be. There's always a prerequisite for every single thing you do. So what's the fifth, what's the fifth thing that helps over analysis is paralysis situations? Getting to know yourself. Why is that important? Think about it. If you eventually know, because here's the thing, a lot of people, they'll deny themselves that they'll say, oh, I'm not a lazy person. I do all these things. I, I'm always active, I do all these things. But yet you're posting your business on social media. Everyone can see what you're talking about. Like, what the heck are you talking about? If you have time to be and complain about these things, on social media but yet you don't actually handle the situation then that's you know, that's on you so here's the thing if you know yourself that you're going to do something this stupid if you and the thing is if you're aware about this you should actually do something about it meaning if you know this habit of yours at this specific time in the morning or at the night time you're always gonna I don't know I don't know, look at porn or something in the morning. Don't set yourself up for failure like that. Just put your phone in the other room, have your computer in the other room, or if not that, let's say, I don't know, you, you take at least an hour to get out of bed before you do anything, or you take an hour for you to get dressed. Like, if you know yourself in that right, you, you should be able to preemptively catch yourself, because it's a habit at this point depending on the people who are watching this, it's a habit at this point for you to realize, hey, wait a minute, I notice every single day, I always do so and so and so and so. I'd say know yourself in the sense that you should change one of the habits one at a time. Don't try to change all five of them at once. Do it one at a time because you're not, you're, you don't know how your body's going to react or how your mind's going to react when you change one of these things. And believe me, it's, I am also still on that journey to fully change 
every single thing that I do about myself, but understand that, you know, it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight, okay? So those are my five best tips I can give you guys for fighting analysis, when you're overanalyzing things, okay? So this has been Absolute Five. I'm Roger Palomino. Mash that bell button for more content and like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. So never forget, math is infinite because there are infinitely many possibilities. You guys have a good one. Take care.